XONR is a wearable robotic gait training device that can be used to address different goals for ambulation. XONR was designed to be used as a tool for physical therapists in a rehabilitation setting to address early mobility and gait retraining goals through patterning, stepping, and providing only supplemental assistance when a person needs it. XONR is approved to be used with individuals who have had a spinal cord injury, acquired brain injury, or stroke. The best candidates for using the dynamic nature of XONR have some lower extremity strength and gait training goals and potential. XONR has two motors at the hips and two motors at the knees. The ankles are not powered, but adjustable to assist with balancing the XO. The device is self-supporting, and therefore the individual using EXO does not feel the weight of the device and is fully bearing their own weight within the device. XONR comes with a fit kit containing pads and spacers to allow you to customize EXO for individuals of all shapes and sizes. Patient Eval and Screening Every patient must be evaluated before using XONR to determine if they fit the range of motion and strength requirements and to determine how to program EXO to accommodate that individual. Before a patient may try EXO, their physician must sign a medical release. Important criteria include, but are not limited to, weighing 220 pounds or less, having no open wounds in contact with EXO, having a standing hip width of 18 or less, and have a near normal range of motion at the hip, knee, and ankle. Device adjustment. Device adjustment requires two wrenches and is about a five-minute process to adjust for each patient. It was designed to be used by many patients throughout the clinical day. The adjustments include hip width, hip abduction and adduction, upper leg, lower leg, and the ankle can be adjusted as well, but no wrench is needed. Patient setup. Donning the device should take approximately five minutes and involves choosing the appropriate fit kit items to make sure EXO will fit the patient comfortably and accurately. Putting EXO on involves having the patient transfer to a chair that EXO is sitting in and wrapping the EXO around the patient. There is a foot binding, a tibial brace, a thigh brace, a torso pad, and backpack straps to unite the EXO and the patient. Doffing EXO happens more quickly and can be done in one or two minutes. The sit to stand is fully powered by EXO, but requires patient interaction to be ideal. EXO has two options for the sit to stand based on comfort for the patient. EXO will sit the patient up to 90 degrees, then lean forward. At the end of the lean, the patient must push up on the assistive device and assist with getting their weight balanced over their feet. The transition is assisted by the PT for balance purposes. There is a second way to stand that doesn't require the patient to lean as far forward. Pregait. XONR can be used when the PT would like to practice pregait activities. Weight shift is a program that prepares the patient for proper stepping using visual cues and auditory tones set by the PT to teach the patient to shift their weight laterally and find their midline orientation. Step in place is another pregate program that prepares the patient for walking. With both legs free, the patient can step in place, march, and step forward and back. Squats are performed with the legs free as well. The patient is then able to squat down to a set knee flexion of either 45, 65, or 90 degrees. If the patient gets fatigued or stuck, there is a rescue button that will bring the patient back up to standing. Adaptive Assist Generally, bilateral adaptive assist is a starting point with most patients. This mode allows the patient to feel the gait path or trajectory that EXO is trying to keep them on. It also forces the patient into a symmetrical gait pattern and allows them to take smooth, repetitive steps. XONR will adjust the amount of assistance it provides as needed. The device will assist less if it senses the patient doing more. If the patient is doing less, the device will assist the patient more to create smooth, natural steps. Feedback numbers assist the PT in adjusting software to progress the patient and monitor progress, as well as indicating where to start when progressing to fixed assist. 
If a PT wants to alter the patient's motor planning, they can lower the assistance ceiling to make the patient do more throughout the swing phase of gait. Fixed assist allows the PT to turn down the EXO's motor output independently on the left and right. This mode continues to require the patient to stay on a normal gait path or trajectory, but now it requires the patient to fill the power that EXO is not providing. The PT is able to set a delay called swing complete for when the EXO should complete a step that has not been finished. If the step was not completed by the patient, swing complete will finish the step. This mode is like strength training and requires the patient to work harder and concentrate harder to complete the swing phase. This allows for motor learning along the gait path. PTs can use feedback numbers to set the levels of assist and monitor how much EXO is doing as well as monitor the patient's progress and fatigue. Once a patient has gained strength and balance in fixed assist mode, they can move on to EXO's advanced gait feature set. Free gait. This mode allows the PT to take the robotic trajectory or path off the legs, but allows for stance support to be set for the hip and knee. In this mode, there's no longer a gait path to follow. The patient is able to use any gait pattern they would like, and the PT is able to add assistance to one or both legs. The PT may also add resistance to one or both legs or let them remain neutral without any assistance or resistance. This allows the PT to customize their treatment depending on the goals and the patient's presentation. In this mode, the patient has the freedom to practice walking faster, walking backwards and sidestepping, and ultimately show the PT what they've learned while still being appropriately supported at the hip and knee with stance support. Freegate allows for error learning and acts as a bridge to move to more efficient overground ambulation without EXO. Right or left affected. Right affected allows the right leg to be robotically controlled while the left leg is trajectory free. The trajectory free leg is under the patient's control. Here, Jess has taken a short step with the left leg before completing a longer step. The PT can either cue the patient to step through with the free leg, or the PT can revert back to bilateral robotic control of the legs to ensure a step through gait pattern. We've only just scratched the surface of the versatility and capability of this dynamic gait retraining tool. To learn more about what ExoNR can do, visit exobionics.com and schedule a demo by reaching out to customer relations. Take the next step with us.